Hey there, Adam from Adam's RV Deals. Behind me right now, I have a 2021 Sunseeker, and that is a 3250 LE. This is their bunkhouse model. And so they do a bunkhouse really, really well. Uh, I love the feature that they put into that bunkhouse. Uh, also, so for the engine, you got the V10 Triton engine. That's the 6.8 liter, very powerful engine, able to get you wherever you need to go and, and tow whatever you need. Uh, you have the up here, if you could angle there, yep, you get the molded fiberglass front cap. And so that's minimizing the opportunity for leaks to happen right there, which is usually in Class C's, that's the number one spot where that does happen. Um, so on the outside, you can see that you have uh, an, an awning above us here, and then you have a slide topper over there. So slide topper is pre-installed. Uh, down low, you can see there's lots of storage areas throughout the bottom there. This is on the E450 chassis as well. Uh, so without further ado, we'll head on in. Once you come in, you can see it's very, very clean. It has the updated interior. A lot more grays and beiges like we've been doing lately. Again, this is a 2021, so you're going to see that with the newer models. You have a Max Air fan uh, installed for you right there, ready to go. Um, in the front, you'll notice that there's a, there's a TV on a swivel. And then you have plenty of bed space in the top bunk there. Uh, in this model, like most Class C's with bunks, you have the dinette and the sofa. They use a brown leatherette in this uh, in this model. Very attractive. I love what they do with the beige cap and it's throughout as well. Very modern sort of look to it. In this model, they have the kitchen in the corner right here. So you have the three burner stove there, microwave below, and then you have the sink back here. Um, nice cabinets uh, below and above too and then you have this extra cooktop that can swivel up if need be and then the refrigerator is over on this side right next to the entryway as you enter you see that you have the uh, control panel right here uh, generators only got 133 hours which is very good for this for this age uh, you get the slide out the lights the uh, hot water all the control panel right there Continuing on, you can see that we got to the bunk area here, so it's right in the in the middle of the coach. So this is this is the, the um, this unit has the bunks on the campsite, and so nice having the windows on the campsite for the kids because that's usually where it's a little bit potentially nicer of a view. The back, the uh, the typical side, the kids are looking at the um, you know the the uh, utilities as they're sleeping so not quite as good what they do with the bunks that i really like though is they have this couch that actually jackknifes out and then behind me here uh you actually also have if i could swivel around you can see oh it's going funky on me again there we go you actually have a tv there so this can actually turn into like a little gaming corner too which is kind of cool and you got the bedroom back here a uh, pretty spacious bedroom uh, lots of cabinets and such so the cabinets behind me, you can remove those top two cabinets and so put the TV there if you'd like. And then if you look at the other side, you got more cabinets. Nice big rear window too for the people sleeping in this bedroom. And more cabinets there too. I love these doors. You get the door. Uh, it's going to take a while for it to come over here, huh? Okay, there it is. These doors. So this is the, uh, this is the type that you press down and slide over. Um, they lock into place. They really hold up well. Then you have the bathroom, you can see how bright it is in here, which is amazing. And then you have the bright, bright skylight, which is there. Oh, it's swiveling around on me, going crazy. Uh, yeah, so you got lots of uh, cabinet space here, which I'll try to put, show to you. Yep, there it is. Um, lots of counter space, toilet, little tub in here, everything that you need. So uh, this, this is a 2021 Forest Service Sun Seeker 3250 LE. This thing has somewhere around 20,000 miles or so on it. And uh, the price it's going for is $79,900. So these, these things are easy to go for 120,000 new. So you're saving like $40,000 just for getting something that's a couple years old. Makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, let me know what questions you have in the comments below. Feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and also let me know if you want to buy it. Thanks.